Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to basically use your own Xbox Live profile in a Xenia account. So, if you're not aware of this already, with the latest build of the Xenia account, we can use Xbox Live profiles again. First things first, plug in your USB stick into your Xbox 360. Copy your profile onto the USB stick and then install Horizon and plug the USB stick into your PC. Drag your profile across, just like so. Next, we're going to go to Contents and we're going to extract the account file here to your desktop. Next up, we're going to go to our USB stick's actual location. So I'm going to be right here and you're going to get your content folder. If you've only got your account in here, simply right click this and click Copy. If you got more shit, find out which one's yours and copy the folder of your account. Next, we're going to head to our Xenia location. In Xenia, we'll copy the folder contents into here. So we have the content folder. And in the content folder, we have our profile folder. The next step is pretty simple. If we look inside the content folder and we go to the end of where our profile is, you'll see our actual profile file. What you need to do here is we need to create a folder with that ID in here. And then in here, we drag and drop that account file. Once you've done that, we can open up Xenia and Xenia will recognize that you have a Xbox profile. And it will be your actual profile. You'll need to right click it and call it login. Once you've done that, we can load up the game. Pretty simple. So if we select something like, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say Gears of War. You can now see uh, God's Hand. So we go solo and we just click play. And we go options. Ah, oh, you get a point anyway. Your account's there. Maybe some cropping. Fuck off, we'll take a picture of it. What part of fuck off did you quite understand? Okay, well, you get a picture anyway. Your account's there. And then, I fully recommend dragging your profile out and making a copy of it. But what you can do after you play some games is you can go to content and go to account. And you can replace the account version you've got here with the current one you have in your profile, which should copy across any achievements you have. Uh, it's that. 